Hi everyone, welcome back to Toe of the Week. Excited to show you the set of toes that match this set of nails. Take a look. Pretty cool, right? Always do the toes a little bit different. You guys know that, but it always matches and I love the way it turned out. Reminds me of the sea. I love the browns, the golds, the teals. I just think they all look so great for summer. What a beautiful look. Almost reminds me of the beach, you know, something at the Caribbean. I just love them. Absolutely love the look. And of course, there's going to be a great outfit that matches this whole ensemble as always. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys are new to my channel, please hit that big red subscribe button right there. Hit the notification bell. Let me swallow there. Hit the notification bell so you are notified of all of my uploads. Share around my channel so I can help many get healthy with the ketogenic way of life and also get to see my nails, my toes, and my outfits of the day. And definitely shoot me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this toe design. Let's get started on it. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hi everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's toe design. Matching the nails I did on Monday. I did a beautiful no water marble with browns, gold, and teals and rhinestones as you see. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Toe of the Week, doing another beautiful summer look. And as always, it will match the nails I did on Monday. I did those beautiful marbled sea nails. They kind of remind me of the sea and I love it with the crystals in it. Love the gold and browns running through it, gorgeous. Now we're gonna do a set of toes. You guys all know that I do the toes a little bit different. So the big toe, instead of being a French look, I did the whole toe, and that's the one that I'm gonna do the marbling on. And then the rest, I'm gonna leave and just put crystals. I think it looks great with just the French tips and then that kind of, uh, what do you call it, kind of unicorn kind of looking background for the French look. I'll show you what I'm using today. So for that French look, it was this one here, the ice, the pure ice, and you see it's got the beautiful teal running through that and pinks and just all different colors. It's gorgeous. And it's actually called Mint Dream. And then for the solid color and the French, I use this one here by the China Glaze and it's actually called, let's see, Too Yet to Handle. I'll list everything down in the box for you guys. And then for marbling, I'm gonna use that color, the light one there. And this time I'm gonna do it the right way. We're gonna go with the darkest color, moving on up to the lightest color. So we'll start with the darkest color, which is gonna be this one here, the Insta Dry, and it's called Taupe To Go. Then I will go to the gold, and this one is called, I believe, Going For Gold. And that one is the Paparazzi. And then I will use this one here, that is the Kiss Gel, and it's a beautiful teal, and it's called Teal Full. And then, of course, the lightest that I started with, this one. And that's how I'm going to put them on in order when I drip it and do the water marble, which is the no water marble. I'm going to use a brush. That's what I'll drip on the toes in that order so it turns out right. And we won't have to go through and fix it. Thank God these nails I didn't have to fix. Um, I mean, I fixed them, but I didn't have to take anything off. They look gorgeous. I love them. I'm getting tons of compliments, and I love it with the crystals. It's gorgeous. So then I will use the brush for the swirling. It's RobinMosesNailArt.com. It's called the wand. There's the tip. I always leave it dirty in between because I use my brushes so often. And she says to keep the acrylic paints on it or the paints because the oils in it will help the red sable to the brush. Okay, and then I will be gluing on some crystals. I'll just use an, you know, just a generic nail glue that I got offline. And then, of course, these beautiful iridescent Sawaski crystals. They're AB crystals, size 2SS, very, very tiny. I will be putting them on, and I just dropped some because they were stuck to the cover. That's okay. I'll be able to pick those ones up. But that's what I'm going to do, and then I will top everything off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. This will be a much faster video because I don't have too much art to do except for the big toe. So I'm going to get one done and then I will return to show all of you. 
Okay, so you see it worked out a lot better and looks like this finger when you reverse the color and using the darkest colors down first, then the lightest to the top. All right, let me show you how I'm doing that. So we're gonna start off with, when I did the nail design, I used a clear base and then drip the colors through. This time I'm actually going to use the lightest color to put on. That's what I'm gonna do because I just wanna make this, this a little bit more opaque. I did do two coats of it, but I should have done a third. So I'm gonna use this as my third coat for the marbling and you wanna get it pretty wet, okay? Before I just used the clear and you guys seen that I was using clear, but I just needed another coat on here. It was kind of opaque or kind of sheer. All right, so we're gonna drop the darkest color in first, which is that brown. Drop just a couple drops, just wherever you want to. And then the next color would be the gold that in all around and you can see this works out so much better having the darkest color to the bottom I just can't believe I didn't even think of that when I was doing the design because I know that I've done nails long enough to know that okay and then drop some of the dark teal in there okay and then the lightest again the one I started with I'm just gonna drop that just down in certain spots and make sure I get enough of it here. Wipe off any excess so it's not getting in the bottle. Do a drop there and a drop there. All right, now we'll get out the brush and start to swirl. So you're just gonna do it however you want. Just start to swirl the colors like that. That's what's cool about a water marble that you don't have to use water. That's what I love about it. I've always loved this design. Got the idea from Robin Moses which is awesome, and there's many different ways you can do it. But as you see, when you do it this way, you don't lose, like it didn't doesn't look mucky and muddy like it did before because the darkest color is on the bottom. So just play around until you like it, and then I'm gonna actually add, on the last two I did the same thing, I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the gold because I love the gold running through it. I think that looks so pretty. And then we're just gonna swirl that through different spots too because I wanted just a tad bit more gold. I think the gold just really helps just to make this design so beautiful and just pull it so you get it all over. It'll be on your brush so just play around. But there you go. You see how it looks now like the finger? Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Love water marbles. I think they are so neat and so fun to do. You can do it with water. You can do it without water. You can do it with different tools. Actually, a friend of mine had sent me an idea. You can do it with string. It's just amazing what you can do marbling. It's so fun. So, <clears throat> but anyways, I am going to let these dry up and I'm going to get some crystals going on the smaller toes. I was thinking about doing a gold line across. I may do that just to make this design a little bit better. If I do, you guys will see that. And then I'm going to add in some stones. I will return. All right, I did decide to do the gold line and I love it. It does make a difference. I've poured some out here. It is just the polish. So I'll show you how I'm doing. I'm just gonna use my brush, just get a tiny little bit on the brush. And it just makes your line even neater too, your uh, French line. Just go across the bottom real slow. You know, just take your time and go all the way across to get that beautiful gold line. I think that just makes the design even better, doesn't it? I think it's great. And of course, you guys will see better photos of it when I take photos at the end. All right, now we're going to add in the crystals. I will return after I get some done. All right, so what I did was is I just put a little crystal on the French tip of all the little baby toes above the gold line. And then on the big toe, I just did it at the bottom. Since I did it in my French tip on the nails, I just thought I would do it at the bottom since I didn't do a French tip there. So I have left just one little baby toe open and the big one. So I'm just gonna dip into a little bit of glue, dot of glue there, grab a little stone and set that down right there. I will be top coating these so they're gonna stay. Maybe I should draw in a little bit. And then for down below here, make sure I have enough glue, yep. Okay, I'm just gonna put some of the glue down inside of here so that it's ready just to put my stones in down here. Okay, 
And I did one, two, I did five of them. All right, so we're gonna do five. We'll just start right in the middle. Put the middle stone down. Give it a little push up. There's a piece of hair on this. And then grab a couple of stones and just start going to town. Start putting them in. So we got two on this side. And then we need two on the other side. One, two. Is that down there? <laughs> Sometimes they just don't want to go. But I thought that would be a good idea since I did put them, like I said, in the fingernail there where the French was. I thought I would just do it at the bottom there. And then you get to see the sparkle. Isn't that pretty? Just something different. All right. So now what I'm going to do is obviously let all of this dry up for just a few minutes. And then I'm going to top coat everything like I showed you before with my dry fast top coat. Letting everything dry up and cover, you know, all the stones so that all the stones hold and all of that. And then I'll be back to show all of you guys the end product. Look at that sparkle. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. All right, let me get that done. I'll be back showing you guys the end product. All righty, everybody. I am all done. And aren't these amazing? Reminds me of the sea, like I said, and that beautiful water marble. Well, no water marble. Looks like it's done in the water. Gorgeous colors with the brown, the gold, and the teals. I love it, and I love the way I did the baby toes with that gold line and the rhinestones. And they look so wonderful with the nails. I always do the nails a little bit different, but everything matches so good and looks great. And I cannot wait to show all of you guys the outfit that matches this look. Hope everybody is doing well. Everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.